Hey guys, in today's episode, we're gonna talk about accomplishing long-term goals and really how to put yourself in position where you can do so at a faster rate. We're gonna talk about retirement, we're gonna talk about experience. It's gonna be a very fun episode. Before I forget, if you haven't done so already, check out that 14-day risk-free trial on our platform, www.tier1trading.com, and I hope you guys enjoy today's episode. Hey guys, Akil here. Welcome back to another episode of the Trading Coach Podcast. Hope your new year's off to a great start. Hope you haven't already given up or started slacking on the goals that you have set for yourself, believe it or not, but most people have already, but hopefully you're a little bit different, a little bit more motivated and inspired and empowered to do so than the rest. That's what's going to get you ahead. In today's podcast, I want to talk a little bit about, man, age experience, kind of goals, retirement. I I may be all over the place, but hopefully we can kind of center on a common theme. And the idea came to mind off of um, really a a trader that reached out to me on Twitter. I wasn't part of the initial conversation, discussion, argument, whatever you want to call it, but um, he had asked my opinion on, on something. And I guess he was arguing or someone he knew was arguing about someone about age and experience and someone was saying that they doubted someone had enough experience in the market to do blah 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 because they were young and he basically asked the question does age and experience go hand in hand i think it's a very interesting really topic to talk about because the answer is yes and no it it can but not necessarily And it's important to understand, and this is going to be very useful for those traders who are new, because believe it or not, I get a lot of traders that are very young. They're under the age of 18, and they they, they have a lot of self-doubt. They lack confidence because they don't feel like they are, quote unquote, old enough to be involved in the financial markets. And that is complete foolery. Um, First and foremost, there there is no age limit. Now, there may be technical age restrictions on how old you have to be to start an account, but there's no age restriction of when you can start learning, right? My my good friend and my business partner, Darren, we had a conversation the other day about our kids are both our oldest are about seven, eight years old. And we had conversations with how they're doing more with money or they understand more about money, personal finance and investing than people three, four, five times their age, um, 10 times their age, I would say. And you know, it, it, it's it's you can have a lot of experience and be young. So there's, there's no need to think that you don't deserve or you can't be an investor or a trader just because you're not in your mid 30s or 40s or anything like that. But age and experience, they, they can go hand in hand because obviously age has to deal with time and experience is based on time. But experience isn't just based on time going forward. It, it's based off of how much time you use. So for example, if trader A and trader B both have one year, right? They can use that one year completely different. You know, trader A can study maybe one hour a day for every day of the year. So they have 365 hours of study for the year. Trader B, let's just say they study two times a day uh, or two hours a day, excuse me. Now they have what? 730 hours of experience in the market, right? They have the double the experience of Trader A, yet they are technically, they've technically invested the same general time duration in the market. They've experienced the same amount of time, 365 days in the market, but one has used that time better than the other. And you can kind of you know, branch that out to a trader who is maybe 55 years old, but has you know just learned about, about the financial markets and is just getting involved versus a trader who is 18 years old, but has been studying it since they were 16, right? The younger one obviously is a lot younger, but they could have a lot more experience. So age and experience don't necessarily go hand in hand. And I think the key point of getting experience, obviously from a trading perspective and investing in perspective, the more experience you have, the better you're going to be in the market, right? Myself, I've been trading since 2007. I am still gaining more experience. And believe it or not, I feel better and better, more comfortable and more confident. I learn new things or I can see the same thing differently um, each and every year. So I'm still, I think on the, the, you know, despite being here for 15 years, I think on the, the younger side of experience, when you compare yourself to traders that have been in the game for 40 or 50 years. But I think it's important 
important that you want to be in a rush to gain as much experience as you can if you want to be successful. And of course, this goes for the financial markets. This goes for anything else in life as well, right? Get started early. Even if you're not seeing results yet, you can start gaining experience. And those experiences are what are, you know, what will eventually gain you your results. And going back to the concept of thinking of like you know we have to be a certain age to do something we see this in regular life as well where people are counting down the days to retirement like oh i need to be 65 years old before i retire i only have 20 years left and they're looking at that retirement number like it's a say all be all like hey I have to be 65 before I, I can retire. And, and yes, certain jobs, obviously there are criteria that you have to hit where you have to have a certain amount of years, it have to be a certain age before you can hit kind of, you know, different things in your, in your, in your you know, their, the investment portfolios that they're holding for you and, and whatnot, your retirement funds and whatnot. But the goal shouldn't just be to wait around for retirement. It shouldn't just be to exist in that time and slowly count down the goal should be to push that retirement as forward as possible you know the goal should be hey what can i do instead of waiting until i'm 65 to retire what can i do to retire at 55 and this idea came to mind the other day we had a a church breakfast we are i'm part of a men's group at our church and we, we held a breakfast we we cooked and all that fun stuff and i was having a conversation with one of the elders um she took out her cell phone and and the pastor came by he's like this is the first time i've ever seen you with a cell phone and she's like yeah i i usually don't have it on at all and and, and blah 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 and we got on the whole conversation about yeah you know you know you know i'm part of this international business and my cell phone pings and rings all the time and and i had to kind of you know put myself on a schedule to only check emails twice a week because or twice a, a, a day because I felt like I was becoming a slave to my cell phone. And she's like, yeah, that's exactly why I just turned it off. She's like, I don't want to be a slave to it. I want to do it on my own terms. And she got on talking about retirement. She said, well, then that's the cool thing about retirement. She said, the cool thing about retirement, Akil, is I can do whatever I want, whenever I want, and I don't have to do anything that I don't want to do. Um, and she was so proud when she said it. And it, what, it, it sparked something because when I first got into trading and eventually into entrepreneurship, I was mentored by a guy named Jason Stapleton. He's a very good business mind. If you get a chance to check out any of his podcasts or his posts, great on developing your brand, building businesses, all that fun stuff. And we were having a conversation about something one day over food, because that's, you know, all of our all of our meetings happen over food, um, especially when you're out in Kansas and they have the, ooh, the most delicious barbecue and steaks. And mm, gosh, but we were having a conversation and he was going on this rant about kind of like life goals. And he said, he said, my ultimate goal in life is to only do the things I want to do and not have to do the things that I don't want to do. And. It sounded very similar to what the elder at the church said, where basically they don't want to do anything they don't want to do and they don't have to do anything that they don't want to do. And they can spend their entire life only doing the things that they want to do. And doesn't that sound amazing? Right. I feel like that should be the goal for everyone. Like, why wouldn't you want the goal of only doing the things that you want to do? And obviously, there are certain levels there. There's a level where you only do the things that you want to do. And then there are levels where you do most of the things you want to do. You, you still have to do some of the things you, you don't want to do. Like, I still have to take out the trash and stuff like that. Um, but, you know, obviously, you're, 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 you're making that shift. And the question is, if you want to make that shift, why wait? Why wait until retirement? Why not put yourself in position where you can do it 10 years earlier? Why not put yourself in position where you can do it 20 years earlier? And I think when I mention stuff like this, we, we, we kind of get, you know, one group is all fired up, like, yeah, entrepreneurship, blah, 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 blah. And the other group is, is like, well, Keel, yeah, easier said than done. And I don't want to I don't want to make it seem like you have to be an entrepreneur. I don't think anyone has to be an entrepreneur. I don't think everyone anyone everyone should want to be an entrepreneur. There are um, many benefits and gifts of it, but there are many cons of it as well. So I'm not saying that, hey, you need to quit your job, become a full time trader and, and, and trade full time, get funded and, and, and have it take over your life. No. But. Remember why we are investing in the first place and, and, and trading is just kind of one of the, the, the things under the investment umbrella, right? The goal of investing isn't necessarily to replace your income. 
Um, now, obviously, the, the long term goal is, I should say, but the short term goal of investing and trading isn't to replace your income. It is to supplement it. Right. It is to take whatever is extra from your life after you've kind of done your financial audit and whatnot. And is to put it in a position where your money could start making you money, right? So you have your job that is making you money. You are saving money, which in a way is making you money. And then the money that you save is actually being put in the market. So it's making you money. So it is it is a multiplier, right? It is a, it is a wealth multiplier. It is a wealth optimizer. And yes, you can be in a position if you love it where it can take over your entire life. And, and, and now you can only make, you know, you know all of your um, income is off of investing, but it is also something that can push you closer to that ultimate goal faster. So instead of sitting back and waiting for 65, being able to make some supplemental income, being able to throw it back into your investment account or, or just trade, trade it on your own, that allows you to get to the point where you can retire five years early, 10 years early, 20 years early. And now you can have more time, you know, at a probably still a, a better period of your life. You know, I mean, people are, they're living longer now, but just, you know, knowing my body and how it's breaking down, there are probably things that I can do at 55 that I won't be able to do at 65, right? There's probably things I could do at 45 that I won't be able to do at 55. So, you know, my goal has always been to reach that period as quickly as possible so I can do everything that I want to do without limitations. And the faster you can reach that goal, the more time you can buy on the back end where you have that freedom of life. Now, this circles back to that experience, right? So if you want to be successful to the point where you can start doing whatever you want to do. You're going to need experience. And we know that you can't just you can just wait for experience to happen. But if you want to multiply that experience, if you want to shorten that experience curve, you've got to go out there and make it happen. So I would challenge you to think about how can you put yourself in the optimal position to gain as much experience as possible. This doesn't mean sell out your whole life and go dark from your friends and family and go hide in a cave with a, a laptop and just study all day. But be very purposeful about your time. Instead of giving up on your New Year's resolutions and your New Year's goals like most of your friends, stick to it. Plan out your day. Say, hey, I'm, I'm going to just like I'm going to stick to going to the gym, just like I'm going to stick to waking up and doing some yoga, just like I'm going to stick to this new diet. Stick to a purposeful and deliberate behavior of gaining experience by doing bam, bam, bam. And if you do that, you're going to gain experience quicker. The quicker you gain experience, the more you can start doing some really cool things with your money or your, your job or your business venture, whatever it may be. And the quicker you can do that, the quicker you can get to that retirement age where now you can spend all your time only doing the things you want and never doing the things that you don't. Hope you guys enjoyed today's episode. Remember, check out that 14-day risk-free trial over on our website, www.tier1trading.com. You get access to training courses. You can download software. You can network with our trading community. And of course, you can hop in some live sessions with myself, with my trading buddy, Jason Greystone, and just have... Well, a 14-day experience that is going to cost you a dollar that will be more worth it than some of the $1,000 courses you'll purchase out there. Trust me, it's not just me saying that other traders have. So head over to www.tier1trading.com and I look forward to working with you.